Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Amy Beers and we are at the Ale Emporium. Voted best bar food on the north side of Indianapolis with live entertainment every weekend. They have 28 HD TVs as well as seven front screen projectors all showing your favorite sporting events so you never have to miss a play. They also have this outdoor patio open during the summer with live entertainment. The band Living Proof is here tonight. So we'll be talking with them later. Before we go inside, I would like to thank my jewelry sponsor Cheeky Couture for helping me get my cheeky on. I'd also like to thank my hair sponsor, Michael Warren Salon. All right, let's go in. Scott. Yes. What is ale? Ale is a type of beer. We're oh. called the Ale Emporium because of all the, the wide variety of beers we have. Okay. But ale is actually a certain kind of beer. Um, what yeah. kinds of ale do you have here oh, at Ale Emporium? <laughs> ale, uh, India Pale Ale, Pale Ale, um, Autumn Ales, Dark Ales, Light Ales, all, almost all of them. Can you count on your hands how many ales you have here, or is it more? No, yeah, I, I don't have enough fingers. There's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot. There's a lot. All right, drink specials. What kind of drink specials you guys had running throughout um, the week? Lately, we've been running a lot of Smirnoff, Crown Royal, Kettle One. Um, Tuesdays, all the bottles are on special. Wednesdays are all the drafts. So really, any day you can you can get almost anything. When are the ales on special? <laughs> or are they ever? Oh yes, most uh, you can usually find at least one ale on special once one day a week. Oh yeah. Yes, yes. Do you have any seasonal ales? Oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> yes. What's in uh, season right now? Now it's it's fall time right now. It's today. This month is October. Yes, a lot of Oktoberfests are coming out. Um, Autumn ales, pumpkin ales. <gasps> oh, I love pumpkin. Yes, um, really, a lot of the like the darker, uh, okay. a lot of darker beers are coming in season right now. Do you guys have a unique cocktail? We do these street painter drinks that are green. Yeah, it's like these green. It's cream de mint and Bailey's, and uh, it's it's a green creamy drink that people have been ordering here. Royal flushes are popular. Washington apple shots are popular. You said um, street painter. Street painter, yeah. Why do you call it? Why is it called street painter? Um, it was came from uh, I can't remember what college. It was a college town drink. Oh, okay. And uh, it's been uh, become popular here, I guess. Right. Can we can we make one? Yes, yes, I will. Yeah, and this is it right here. Oh wow, it's like so tiny. Yes, I would like a sip. Ooh, that's really it's good. Different. It's different. Let me, let me try. Make sure I take. Make sure I made it right. You just kissed me, basically, because my lips are right there, and then your lips went right there. Yikes. <laughs> not, better not get I'm, not really sure what to, <laughs> I'm not really sure what to say right now. <laughs> Ale Emporium has been voted best bar food on the north side of Indianapolis. Would you agree? I would definitely agree. We were just sitting here talking about we don't know what makes the pizza so delicious, but it yeah. it is. We should find out. Secret special ingredient or something, because something about it is just like makes you want more. Like you just like on Friday nights you just want to come here and have pizza. Yeah. Maybe they put drugs in it, like addictive drugs. It just makes you want more. I that crack pizza. <laughs> we make everything fresh daily. Do you? Yeah, fresh product, fresh ingredients. Maybe that has something to do with it. But the main ingredients, the stuff that we use in the sauce, the dough, you know, we just can't tell. You know. What kind of food do you have on the menu? I mean, I know you have bar food, but do you have anything that is unique to Ale Emporium? Oh, definitely. We're known for our wings. We have a wing called Hermanaki. Hermanakis are the best wings in the world. Is that yeah. named after you? It's, yeah, I came up with the recipe. <laughs> I came up with the Hermanaki, the Hermakin, and the Herman style. Oh. And if you really like burgers, we have a dynamite burger. Do you? It's a specialty burger. It's called the Herminator. <laughs> it's really, really hot. I'm sensing a theme going on here. Okay. <laughs> it's spicy. It's a spicy burger? Definitely. It's wow. not for everybody, but it's really good. Right. The flavor is fantastic. Do you have food specials throughout the week? We have lunch specials Monday through Friday. And on the weekends, we have a... Um, we call it a football feast, where you get a, a small order of wings, I think a tennis thin, uh, two topping, and a bucket of beer, which is five beers. You know, I'm not going to quote the price because it's real cheap, but, you know, <laughs> come on out and enjoy it. It's real good. Every, every Saturday and Sunday. You have hummus. That's something I don't normally see on a bar menu. Oh, yeah. Hummus is pretty good. Like I said, we make everything homemade, so, you know, it's pretty darn good. Touchdown chicken. That's a variety yeah, paninis. Of yeah, a variety of our chicken sandwich that we have, you know. Oh, we also have paninis. Uh, dinners on Tuesday night, we have a bacon wrap filet. That's only six bucks. Well, six ninety five every Tuesday. Yeah. From four to closing, yes. One to... of the best pizza that we have is margarita. I mean, I'm gonna have a... to try margarita pizza. Okay. All right, we'll make you a margarita pizza. Anything else? How about some wings? You ever tried these Herman style wings or Herman? Can... We can try the wings too. You're from Arizona. 
Michigan, what brings you down to Indianapolis, to the Ale Emporium? We live in Indianapolis, and these are my very dear friends, and um, we're just visiting, just and you, passing through. And you brought him here, so that says a lot. Brought us here. Keith brought us here. He is the master of Indy. While I waited for the order of margarita pizza and hermanaki wings, I decided to explore the back room and talk with Lenny, the lead singer from the band Living Proof, while they set up for the night's performance. I caught you guys as you were setting up. Are you all ready to, your lead vocals, are you all ready to sing? Are you warmed up? Yes, I'm, I'm ready. I'm good. Uh, you know, it's Ale Emporium. It's a great night, so I'm ready to do it. So let's. Uh... Do you gargle salt water? I did not gargle salt water. I ate some wings, actually, is what I did. Oh, no. Are you spicy? That's probably so bad for your for your vocal cords. They're not very spicy. They're teriyaki, and they make me happy. So that's what's really important. <laughs> the food here seems to be making people happy. So yes. So yeah. So hopefully the music will too. So you know we're just here to kind of live up to the food expectations. So right. you know. Yeah. I see you guys. There's a saxophone. What do you? What style of music do you guys play? Jazz. Um, well, when the need arises for jazz, we have. Uh, very talented musicians, but for the most part, when we're in clubs, we do a lot of R&B, a lot of hip hop, a lot of okay. dance and pop, and so you'll hear Lady Gaga and Usher and all that kind of stuff. So I love Lady Gaga. Oh yeah. So tell me about Living Proof. How'd you guys come together, and how long have you been? How long have you been together? Well, um, a lot of us met actually in church. Uh, we've been together about eight years okay. now. So. Uh, we've been playing together. Most of us um, have been here, you know, from the beginning. Actually, myself, Jessica, and our trumpet player, Larry, um, are three of the original members. There he is. <laughs> Hi, Larry. But yeah, just through auditions and people leaving and stuff, we've kind of, you know, gathered everyone else, and uh, it's it's pretty cool because we're all kind of like a just a big family because we spend so much time together and stuff like that. So we come here about. Once every month, once every six weeks, um, but we do, we're almost somewhere every weekend, so. Is it is it? Yeah, but that's the way we like it. And oh yeah, because if you weren't getting booked, I would be a little concerned, because you'd be like, dang, do we suck? What? I know, right? Somebody come book us. Herman was so kind as to let me into the private room, where I got to try his delicious Hermanaki wings and pizza. This looks delicious. Yeah, this is the margarita. Now, of course, we have the Hermanaki wings, which we're known for. So tell me about this private room. Um, is this like VIP? Do you have to like pay extra to get back here? Yeah, or? We rent it out from 125 to 250, depending on what game is on and stuff okay. like that. How uh, about how many people? What's the capacity? About 25, comfortably. You can see 25 people back here. And, yeah, you I know, see there's a table and uh, some leather couches. Yeah, and got, um, uh, uh, fireplace. Table. You got a fireplace, you can play your own music, you can bring in watch your own movies. Do the door shut? Of course the door shut, yep. Cool. All right, let's try this crack pizza. Oh man, that's really good. It does taste really fresh. That's seriously really good pizza. Okay, I'm gonna try my wings. Oh wow, that is really good. Oh man. Herman's wings taste really good. All right, what ales do we have? These, I brought a couple of pale ales here. Okay. These are two flying dog pale ales called Doggy Style. <laughs> I, I think they're out of Boulder, Colorado. And um, I know they're very good. We carry uh, about four or five beers from, from the uh, flying dog line. And I also brought a Bell's Pale, another good ale we have here at the Ale Emporium. And this is, we sell a lot of this Bell's. It's out of Kalamazoo, Michigan. Oh, wow. Very popular around here. Flying dog. It's kind of scary looking, actually. I know. <laughs> he has a propeller on his. Wait, is that a penis? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get a close up of this. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll let making... everyone else figure that out. Come to Ale Emporium and ask for which was this again, the, uh, the uh, uh, doggy style? Doggy style, made by Flying Dog Brewery. All right, come ask for the doggy style, made by. F and try to figure this out. It's very good. It's probably more fun to figure out if you've been drinking. <laughs> what is that? Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what did you get to eat? Um, I got a deep dish supreme pizza. You know what's good with supreme pizza? Because it has all the vegetables on it. Ranch. Yes. Ranch dressing. But you know what? This pizza, you don't need ranch. Because I usually eat ranch with my pizza. Yeah. But not with this. No. They have really good blue cheese. 
or whatever that sauce was that had the wings. We are actually having a girls' night. Oh, I can tell it was a bunch of girls. Yeah, so we try to get together once a month and go out. And Do you always come to the AL Emporium for girls' night? We don't always, but we used to come a lot, especially when we were single. We would come for the, uh, when they used to have back in the day, the 99 cent Coors Light night. Yeah. Yes. So why do you still come? The pizza and the good beer. Definitely. They do have good pizza and good beer. They did have good pizza. What kind of pizza did you get? Just a regular crust with cheese, but... I just had the margarita pizza. It was so good. Was it good? We love their pizza. I literally haven't come here and not had pizza, so... I, love I think it. the pizza is a must. And the wings. Have you had their wings? I have not had their wings. What? Why Ale Emporium? Because it's right across the street where I live. Yeah, you can walk! That's right, I could. <laughs> with beers in hand. Just kidding. My last name is Beers. Is it? You can put me in I your hand. His last name is Beers. Really? Bobby Beers, are you related? He's from New York. He no, I am related to a Bob Beers, but not that Bobby Beers it's from New York. Or about you two? <laughs> Someone's jealous. What did you say? Just uh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, is this about Ale or is this about you two? Uh, it could be about us real soon. Pizza's good, the wings are good. Hermanaki right here. Yeah. Money. Yeah. This is a bomb. They're magic. Bomb City DJs. They're magic. They're magic, yeah. Have you heard Living Proof? They're getting ready to start. Have you heard the I Living Proof? not. I'm eager to hear them. If it's, Me too. If they'd stop taking an hour to get ready. <laughs> they're, they take their art seriously, and it's going to be good. I'm, I'm eager to see them. I really am. Hey. Oh, speaking of the devil. Here they go. Living Proof knows how to put on an excellent and entertaining performance. They are all very talented and that girl can sing. Plus it's not too often that I've seen a trumpet and a sax playing in a bar type setting. I found it refreshing. Living Proof definitely brings the energy and had everyone up and moving. At one point during the night I got up on stage and they helped me give away some movie passes to Landmark's Keystone Art Cinema. Then it was back to mingling in the crowd. It's a cool place. Yeah. Kind of like a laid back, live music. So you follow Living Proof? Yeah, we've been following for a while. They're awesome. Who is this? This is her. How old are you? She's 50 today. No, you're 50. No. Are you seriously 50? Yes, no. I am. I am. Look at you all sexy with your off-the-shoulder shirt. Not everyone is hanging out in the back dancing, so I eventually made my way back to the front room for a more relaxed, casual experience. So I'd rather sit here and eat queso and drink beer and watch yes. watch the New York game. But other that's than what's that, good about this room. You have the bar. Absolutely. You have this middle room that's really good for the you know the TVs, the food, the beer. Absolutely. And then that room, it's just like levels. There's different levels and layers to the ale. That's true. You have the bar, food, what TVs, are you guys doing? band. What keeps you coming back? The environment, bar, obviously uh, smoking, because a lot of my friends still smoke, I don't, but it's it's that. They have smoking in the bar? Yeah. They do. I did notice some people smoking, but it doesn't seem like a smoky bar. It does. I mean, there's people smoking right now at the bar. Did you order food yet? Are you yes, getting food? Yes, I already ate. It was good. What did you think? I had a garden burger. It was really good. Garden burger? What's that? Is that like a, veggie, like a vegetarian burger? Yeah. Uh huh. It was uh, it was excellent. Good. Yeah, I really had good. a good. Do you know they were voted best bar food on the north side of Indy? Oh, were they? Yeah. Oh, they very good. I really was that? Does that surprise you? No, not at all. It was really good. You guys have a bunch of fun drinks. That's a really. I like that pink drink. You guys have fun drinks. I like it. It's like so diverse. What'd you get? I got a mothership. I was here last weekend and it was fun, so we came back. What was fun about it? Um, we came to see her brother's band last weekend, and they were really good, so. The elect. The elect. The elect. The elect. They were awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Go the elect. What'd you get to drink? Uh, tequila Sunrise. I like the live bands. Yeah. They have really nice venues.
telling you, it's, it's just really big back there. I walk back there and I'm just like, oh my goodness, I had no idea. It's, it's so big huge. back there. It's like a secret room. <laughs> the food's really good too. The food. Yeah, they voted best bar food on the north side. Chicken fingers, the provolone uh, sticks, it's all its all good. Yeah, I've never had anything that I didn't like here. The pizza's awesome. Um, then they opened the back up and we really like the bands. So we come here a lot for the bands.